etiquette decorum imply observance of the formal requirement governing a person's behavior. The news of Senator Coco Pimentel, Moka Uson, and Major General Sinyas escaping the hands of justice truly has crooked the Philippine law. I'm the law here. All the law. NBI took businessman influencer Francis Leo Marcos into custody after he allegedly violated the revised optometry law of 1985. He was found to have handed out eyeglasses without approval from the Philippine Association of Optometrists. Marcos went viral during the lockdown when he urged his affluent neighbors to offer charity for the poor in his now infamous Mayaman Challenge. Challenge accepted. A well-meaning yet controversial call soon bit him in the back and soon found a reason to prosecute him. Other than a complaint about inciting to sedition, other complaints have been filed against him including violation of the passport law and anti-alias law. This is due to the fact that Marcos was found using two names in documents, which were Norman Mangusin and Francis Leo Marcos. Tell us about yourself. Who are you? Furthermore, a standing warrant of arrest is set against him for violating the Violence Against Women and Children law from a Nueva Ecija court. Finally, four persons have come out of the woodwork to accuse him of estafa. Marcos denies the allegations. NBI Chief Public Information Officer Nick Suarez has said that Marcos will be posting a 20,000 peso bail set by the Baguio City Court. Just for clarification, Francis Leo Marcos is not related to former First Lady Imelda Marcos, who confirmed that they just shared the same last name. I, I had nothing against him. 